You've watched those seen on TV infomercials, you know, the ones where they melt everything from burnt cheese to sticky candy in a frying pan. <laughs> that sounds better when you say it, <laughs> but does it really work? CBS 2's Elsa Ramon puts the Gotham pan to the test. Tired of food sticking to the pan? You try to scrape it and then you scratch it. You may as well trash it. Has there ever been a time you've left something in the pan too long and ruined it? Absolutely. I try to melt cheese and I ruin the pan. Look, burnt cheese is a frying pan disaster. This as seen on TV pan claims that you can cook anything in here, you can burn it, you can destroy it, and it's not going to mess up this pan. The newest technology in non-stick cookware made with ceramic and super strong titanium. Talene Hagobian from Glendale was skeptical, but agreed to put the Gotham steel pan to the test. We're gonna start with the cheese. Go ahead and dump all the cheese in. We let the cheese bubble. You're not supposed to do this to pan. Sizzle and burn. That's pretty burn. <laughs> Let's see if it does like the commercial shows where it slides right out of the pan there and onto we go. the plate. Wow. Next up, hard peppermint candies with the wrappers on, just like the infomercial. They put about five or six candies in there, so oh, I can Ooh, see them melting, melting already. Yeah. After two minutes. I'm curious. I have to oh, I'll see if it's stuck yet. All right, we've got this candy and plastic pretty well melted. And let's see if it slides out like the commercial shows it does. Nothing sticking. And the pan wiped up easily. We moved on to the eggs. Now we're going to try one of the things the commercial says it can handle, which is an electric mixer whisking eggs in the pan. Use metal and never make a scratch ever. Whisk away. Mix it up. Ooh. This pan feels indestructible. <laughs> Absolutely no sticking and no scratches. Wow, it's lifting wow. right up. And we didn't use oil or butter. Ooh, came right out. The egg beaters didn't leave behind any scratch marks either. It actually lived up to the hype. That it did. <laughs> I think I may go buy one of these pans. Actually, did what they claimed. Yeah, that's why I was writing it down. Yeah. Uh, the Gotham pan also claims it's safe because it's not made with harmful PFOAs. Those are the chemicals associated with some nonstick surface pans. Well, the Gotham pan cost twenty dollars at a local scene on TV store at the mall. You looked at me at yeah, twenty bucks. Twenty bucks right? is a pretty good deal. No question. And we should note that some of the scene on TV products featured are advertised on our stations. Hmm.